this this is the third time i'm recording this video and this is because i'm trying to bring back iphone talks and if you're an og you remember when i used to just sit down and make videos on my iphone and i wouldn't edit them and like my whole channel started this way like i was just fucking ranting about shit on my iphone because i had the time and i don't know when i stopped doing that i think when i like rebranded this channel but i actually missed those so apparently iphone talks is dead because youtube no longer lets me record full-length videos to youtube straight from my iphone it just kept cutting me off at five minutes at nine minutes at seven minutes so i told this story fucking three times this is my fourth time yeah fourth time recording it so maybe it just like doesn't need to see the internet i don't know <laughs> oh my god i'm so sorry because i worked out but yeah so we're gonna talk about there's an annoying ass experience which happened the other day and i just want to rant about it and like share the story because i'm frustrated and it, i just want to talk about it with someone so like come on let's let's talk let's have a little chat let's let's have a, t a chat let's spill the tea i'm not editing this video because i'm just talking shit so um yeah so before i get into the video <laughs> you know see now that i'm on my camera youtube remote is on like i didn't say before i got into the video on my iphone like annoying but i just need to do a little cleanse because there's some anxious energy in here due to the fact that technology was acting the fuck up this is um palo santo so i just light this to get rid of the bad vibes um yeah so this is what happened I go to brunch with my friends. It's my friend's birthday. <laughs> I feel like I'm reading a script at this point. Okay, I didn't finish the story. So by the last half of the story, it'll come out all fresh and new. Okay, so we go to brunch. And it's my friend's birthday. This was like a week or two ago. And pretty much we have a reservation, but apparently Toronto restaurants don't understand the concept of a reservation. I don't really know. So we go to the restaurant and it's like one o'clock that's the time that we have the reservation we got to leave this place by 2 45 because we have a place to be at three we have tickets for it right so an hour and 45 minutes is enough time to eat your food and go with the reservation right <sighs> wrong so pretty much we are not even acknowledged until 1 10 they don't have a hostess they just have servers that like decide to be a hostess whenever they feel like it it's really fucking weird so they come up to us at like 110 112 and they're like hi like do you how many people is in your party and i was like it's four we actually have a reservation it was for 1 p.m so they're like oh like do you want to be seated inside or outside and i was like i want to be seated outside <laughs> sorry i have hiccups <laughs> this is not being edited it was um usually i edit my hiccups out so yeah so then she's like do you want to be seated outside or inside blah 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 we say outside just because of miss rona like obviously with corona i'd rather sit outside if it's patio season right i just burned myself <laughs> so she seats us outside but before she does it takes about 10 minutes so i'm like okay no big deal like whatever like there was no preference selection on the reservation so obviously you need to make space for us outside but we chose outside and whatever so 10 minutes later it's about 120 something now and we're seated so we're sitting there you know talking taking pictures and waiting for someone to come up to us no one does she passes by us multiple times we're just like is anyone gonna help us it's like 1 45 now and no one's helped us out so we're like hi excuse me do you mind sending a waiter over to our table and then she's like yeah don't worry she's on her way 10 minutes later hi excuse me do you know if anybody's coming to help us out because we haven't ordered our drinks yet yeah yeah yeah. as soon as she's done with that table over there she'll be on her way to you guys we're like okay she comes up to us and she fucking pours us water she's like i'll be right back and then another five minutes she comes back we're like okay bitch so like, okay i can take your drink orders now we're like actually it's been like half an hour we've had a good amount of time to look at the menu we'll order our food now too she's like okay so she takes our orders and she brings out not she brings out one i fucking wish she takes our orders she refills our water and she disappears okay so now let's say what time we got see we just got to see like 120 i'm gonna say it's like it's like two it's like two and we didn't get our drinks yet so we like flag someone down we're like 
Do you know if anyone's bringing our drinks? <laughs> like, Because you know when you go for brunch with your girls and you want to drink those mimosas, like they're water, like you just want to down them, get another one, down them, get another one. I'm here, I've been sitting for 40 minutes and I have yet to take a sip of fucking champagne mixed with orange juice. That's the problem. Why am I at brunch if I'm not drinking my mimosa? Like, it, it, uh, <laughs> So we're like 40 minutes in no mimosa. So we're like, okay, like is someone coming? So finally they bring our mimosas out We're drinking mimosa number one and halfway through like this whole time by the way, we're getting swarmed by bees. So The bee goes in my drink Listen, if this mimosa Is this if this bee was just here? No problem. It's here. No problem. It's doing its thing. I'm like, yeah, I'm still drinking it the freaking bee goes inside the glass. It goes in the glass and it touches my juice. I don't want fucking bee juice. I don't want bee juice, I'm sorry. Normally I'm okay with like a bug touching around my glass, but not inside like that. So then I tell the girls like, hi, like I'm so sorry, normally I wouldn't do this. It's only halfway full. Do you guys mind replacing my mimosa because there's a bee in it. She looks and she's like, oh yeah, no problem, don't worry. She saw the bee in the drink, right? I was like, okay nothing to do with them like at all this is a bee it's nature it happens so i'm not mad i'm just like do you mind replacing it she replaces it um whatever whatever and about mm, 55 minutes later like we get our food and we're just like okay so we gotta leave at 2:45, and it is currently 2 15 and we gotta eat and we gotta order another two rounds of mimosas like how is this gonna work so we're kind of annoyed because we're just like now we got to freaking inhale our food and that's annoying and then everybody gets their food i'm looking at everybody's food i'm like oh that looks so good we all got chicken and waffles except for one friend so i'm looking at my friend's waffles and i'm like wow that looks delicious because they get theirs first and then they bring mine out and i'm like I'm, this shit looks a little crispy so <laughs> you know when you like when you cut into a waffle and it's like soft and fluffy and you cut it open and the steam comes out and like it's fluffy and like you see the air bubbles in the dough and you're like ooh and like it's just like plush no that shit was not no that was their waffles my friend's waffles my waffle i took my freaking fork and i took my knife and I, it was sawing through why am i sawing a waffle it was so fucking crispy i would put the picture here but i'm not editing this video so it was crispy it was well done i was not happy i was like okay i'm like what am I supposed to do now? So I'm like, let me just wait until she comes back and get them to replace it. I don't want to be annoying, but also like if I'm paying all this money to get food, I don't want to be crunching on a waffle. So she she takes forever to come back. It's like eight minutes. She finally comes back, right? So I'm like, hi, like I really don't want to be a bother, but do you guys mind replacing this waffle? And like I show her with a fork. I'm like, it's actually really, really crispy. Like it's very well done. And she's like, yeah, sure. And I'm like, but I just have a question, like, do you know if it's going to take a long time? Because if you think it's going to take a long time, I'll just eat this because we do have to go. She's like, yeah, probably will. And it's like, okay, like, do you know how long it's going to take? Because, like, I don't mind waiting a few minutes, but, like, if it's going to take long, like, just let me know. Like, what do you think? Do you think it's, like, five, ten, whatever? She's like, well, to be honest, like, we're really busy today and the chef is really busy, so it's probably going to take a while. So it's like okay do you mind asking for me just to see how long that might take and then i can make my decision she's like sure so she comes back she's like okay they're gonna make it for you i was like okay but i'm thinking like i don't know what i'm thinking i'm just like okay so i stopped i didn't eat i took maybe two bites before and i didn't eat i'm just sitting there like this watching my friends eat watching them eat i'm the slowest eater so i know i gotta inhale this shit she comes back in one minute like literally one to two minutes comes back. I'm like, bro, all that drama to bring me a waffle in one minute. Like, what was that for? Brings me a waffle. I'm happy. I'm like, cool. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Wow. Amazing. I eat my waffle and I'm literally like, you know, fucking anime shows when they're eating food and they're like stuffing their faces. That was me because I needed to eat fast because I had 10 minutes to eat two fucking chicken pieces with a waffle. So then I'm like annoyed at this point. We're all annoyed. And we realized that the freaking bill there's automatically 18 percent added to the bill we're just like 18 percent for what for what to like we didn't get served we barely got service like it, the service was absolute trash and we're just like this is not right like why are we tipping 18 i don't mind tipping generously i will tip you generously if you did a good job no problem i'll give you 20 percent. i'll give you 18 percent. whatever 
but if you do a bad job if you do the absolute bare minimum i will give you the bare minimum i'll give you a good 13 i'll give you 15 i will not give you a good tip and if you do really bad if you give me an attitude i'll give you 10 and if you get disrespectful i'll give you zero this girl deserved like like 13 percent, to be honest so anyway so my friend pulls out her inner karen and she's like i'm gonna go talk to the manager so i was like all right go ahead i will sit right here you do that so she talks to the manager and she's just like i don't i wasn't there but she apparently she was like hi like you know we're not really happy with the service and like we noticed that we have to pay 18 percent tip and on top of that like we just feel like our time here was wasted because we spent so much time waiting for someone to look after us so what can you guys do about this so the girl is accommodating she's nice she discounts some of our mimosas and she lets us choose how much we want to tip so we're like okay cool that's fine so i say thank you blah 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 we're all like we're not going to come back but at least they accommodated us we're happy about that we're also late because our exhibit is at three so we're like fuck like now we're gonna be late to our exhibit we're literally leaving at like 2 50 we have to be there by three and we have to find parking and it's fucking downtown toronto Par finding parking in downtown toronto is like finding parking in in like la or new york it's very hectic right so we got to find parking and we gotta get to we we don't have time we were late we were late to the exhibit so yeah so anyways so all this and i'm annoyed at the service but i was happy they accommodated i left i was fine i was full the, the fluffy waffles were really good and I enjoyed my meal you know so whatever but then I checked my email the next day and they sent me an email and it's like hi like please let us know how your experience went at the morning after Toronto share share your experience like was it good or bad blah 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 you know like those automatic emails so I'm like okay like you're telling me to share my experience and I will share my experience how I share my experience is dependent upon the experience you give me. So if I share a bad experience, you can't be mad at me because you gave me the bad experience. You didn't have to give me that. You could have given me a good one. I would have left you a good review anyways. So share your experience. I decided to write a little note and it wasn't bad. I don't think it was bad. I think it was perfectly fair. This is what I say. I'll tell you right now. <sighs> Service was extremely slow. Food was overcooked. 18% tip was automatically added to the bill even though the service was not good. The manager was accommodating and adjusted our bill, but overall I probably wouldn't come back as it took 50 minutes to get just our drinks and I don't usually have that much time. I'm being honest, I'm being open. I mentioned that she accommodated us and adjusted our bill. I did say that, so <sighs> this bitch, <laughs> sorry, this woman, this woman decides to write me a fucking essay. Let me show you this shit. She wrote me a fucking essay an essay bitch like oh my god it's so white come on an essay do you see that i was like whoa like why are you so mad what the fuck i was so confused when i saw the essay i was like i couldn't have hurt your feelings that bad like i did i say something that i don't remember saying i'll read to you what she said she was basically just defending herself the entire time clearly this woman is like very defensive and has an issue when she's called out but this is what she said hello ashley thank you for your feedback we apologize for your inconvenient experience i remember dealing with this issue on hand and i recall you wanted to deduct the 18 percent automatic gratuity as you felt the service did not merit the value of the gratuity amount and the food took quite a long time while you were in a rush i have communicated that it is important to state if you are in a rush to begin with as our food is made fresh to order and it is important for us to know if we need to put a rush on the food no one told you to rush the food. I didn't need you to rush the food. I just needed it out in a normal amount of time. Like, I don't need the food to come out in an hour. Why should it be my responsibility to tell you, hey man, maybe like don't take an hour today for my food. Like, do you think you can bring it out in a normal amount of time? Like, that's not on me to tell you that. That's on you to do it. Like, it's your restaurant. Like, keep your shit together. Anyway, sorry. Um, yeah, I didn't need it in a rush. I just needed it in a timely manner. So she's like, I had communicated. Oh, I already read that. Hold on. I had also recalled that you stated it took 10 minutes for the hostess to seat you, but that was because you did not request outside and upon arrival asked to wait for a table outside when we have one table available for you inside. No. It took 10 minutes for the hostess to greet us and then it took another 10 minutes for the hostess to seat us. 
The time between your drink order and the arrival of your drinks was precisely six minutes. <laughs> okay, sure. If that's what you want to say, okay. The time between your food being ordered and the arrival of your food was 35 minutes. <laughs> okay. We only give the tables a 90 minute seating limit, so everything must be executed prior to that. You had been seated at the table for 55 minutes between being seated and paying for your bills. That is not true. That is not true. Because my... Okay, hold on. Um... We had completely removed the tip amount, doesn't mean we didn't tip, as well as removed several mimosas. <laughs> and, 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 where was I? And, and replaced one as a B flew inside towards the end of the drink. Bitch, it was half of the drink. We had also applied a discount to your bills, seeing as you were unhappy with your experience. Upon receiving the complaint about the waffle, the server immediately replaced it within a couple minutes. However, to clarify, claiming that it took 50 minutes just for the drink seems like quite an unreasonable statement to make when we have everything documented on hand regarding times of service. Unfortunately, there was not much more that we could have done to accommodate you better at that point, and we initially tried to accommodate you in every way possible upon your arrival up until the end of your service. We do appreciate the feedback. No, you don't. And wish you best regards for all your future experiences. First of all, it's very clear you don't appreciate the feedback because you took that shit real personal. If I knew your name, I would use it right now. I don't know what it is, but she took it really personally with that essay because no one's coming for you, girl. No one is coming for you. All I did was say, I'm, I probably wouldn't come back, but at least you were accommodating. It's just weird. It was so weird. And like, I think that whoever the server was or somebody was docking the, the times wrong because those times don't make sense. If those were the real times... I wouldn't have a problem like i'm not an impatient person when it comes to like that life like like recreational stuff like restaurants stuff like that because i don't know like it's just not worth it to me but if it's actually just ridiculously you know if it's just taking too <clears throat> i'm losing my voice if it's just <laughs> if it's just taking too long i think something should be said like i just do something should be said and that's it so i don't know man somebody wrote the thing those things wrong in the in the book because it did not take 55 minutes for the whole process if it did we would have made it to the van gogh exhibit on time but we didn't we were like 20 minutes late and that was because it took way too long for everything to happen at the restaurant so yeah this video is literally just for me to rant and talk shit and that's it i just felt like her email was absolutely unnecessary when you're a restaurant, keep it professional. Say, thank you so much for your feedback. We apologize for the inconvenience. We hope that you guys come back and give us another shot. That's all you gotta say. That's all you gotta say. Like, you don't you don't write your feelings up. It's not your diary. I don't care. I didn't even read it the first day. I only read it because I was reading this, um, reading doing this video. But, like, it took me a, a while to actually fully read it like that. Because I'm just like, bro, who has the time? Like, you really just sat there. Like, what? anyways okay well that's it thanks for watching and i don't know man all i know i don't know <laughs> i don't know bye